In this video, we are going to learn how to search for a question, preview it, and add it to an assessment. We will also learn how to rearrange questions in an assessment and preview the assessment. We are on our home screen and we want to go into our course, College Algebra by Lumen Learning. Once we are in our course, we scroll down to our exam one that we have already created. This exam involves modules one through five. We want to add some questions, so we will select the gear icon and then we will select questions. Notice we have no questions currently in our assessment. We have the option to search for questions in libraries or from an assessment. Let us first use select from assessments. This will bring up all the assessments that we have in our course. We want to select all the quizzes from Module 1 through 5. This will allow us to quickly access and view all the questions we have previously used in those quizzes. We then select the Use These Assessments button. We can see all of the questions that were used in these five quizzes and they're organized by quiz. This can be helpful when building an exam. To keep it simple, we will select one question from each quiz. We then will scroll back to the top and select the Add Selected using Defaults button. This will add the questions using the default settings, which we can change at a later date. We can now see the five questions that have been added to our exam. We want to add a few more questions to our exam. We can search for questions by a specific library by selecting the Select Libraries button. A new window appears and we can see different libraries that have already been created. This can be a useful tool when finding questions on specific topics. Under Algebra Basics, we will select Combining Like Terms. We will then select the Use Libraries button at the top of the web page. We then will deselect the Search All Libraries button and then press the Search button. All the questions within the Combining Like Terms library appear. We can select Times Used to order the questions by the number of assessments that question is in. This can be helpful when finding good questions. The first question here has been used in over 14,000 assessments and we can preview it by pressing the preview button. This looks like a good question for us to use. We can select the mark question for use button at the top of the page to add the question or we can go back to our previous page to do that as well. We will go back to our previous page. We have the option to use the checkbox next to the description of the question, or we can add it using the Action drop-down menu on the right and select Add. We will select Add and a new web page appears showing the default settings. We will leave our settings as default and select the Save Changes button at the bottom of the screen. We can now see that this question has been added as question 6 for our assessment. If we would like to search in a more general way, we would select the Search All Libraries button. We would then type a keyword, in this case exponent, in the search box. We would then select the Search button. This brings up a vast list of questions that have exponent in the description. This may take some time to find a good question for us to use. We will select Times Used to order the questions by Times Used to find the more popular questions. Again, we can select the Preview button to preview the question. This looks like a good question for us to use, so we will go back to our previous screen. We then select the question we want by checking off that question box on the left hand side. We then select the Add Using Defaults button and this adds the question to our assessment. We now will look into how we can rearrange these questions. We will select the first question under the Order column and we will make this question 7 using the drop-down menu. 
We can see that our question 1 has been moved to the question 7 position and all the other questions have been moved up by 1 in our list. We can do the same thing with question 5. We will select the order drop down menu for question 5 and change the question to be question 6. We notice that our questions have been slightly rearranged. If we want to preview our assessment, we will select the preview button below and a new window appears where we will select the preview assessment button. We can now see how this assessment would look for our students. We can view each question individually using the drop down menu. We now know how to search for, preview, and add questions into an assessment as well as rearrange questions within an assessment and preview an assessment using Lumen Ohm.